Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of this newsletter is going to be why I don't care what you think. Well, I've got a nice little nugget of an email here. This is a guy, I don't know how long he's been following me for, but he basically writes in trying to manipulate me basically into conforming to the way he thinks I should behave and act because he doesn't like my big potty mouth. You know what the interesting thing is? Is people who use profanity and say whatever's on their mind, they're brutally honest, they typically, and these are scientific studies that have been done, people who use profanity freely tend to be honest and more trustworthy and always tell it like it is. People who are politically correct, i.e. politicians, tend to be phony, full of shit, they lie through their teeth, they're dishonest, they're fucking scumbags, and they're making a fucking mess of the world. That is the absolute reality. And I get so many compliments from people telling me they appreciate me and they feel like they can trust me because I know I would never blow sunshine up anyone's ass. I'm real. I tell like it is. If you don't like the way I talk, I really don't give a fuck. If you don't like how I talk, you should go follow somebody else who's politically correct and who will blow a bunch of sunshine up your ass. I'm not for everybody. I love who I am, I'm happy with who I am, and I'm going to be that way, and I ain't changing for no one. I'm 44 years old, and it took me a long time to get to this place where I'm that comfortable. And the bottom line is the majority of the people anyways in the world talk like me. They don't talk like these politically correct assholes or politicians on TV who are always apologizing for this or apologizing for that or demanding an apology because so-and-so or this particular group is offended. Who fucking cares? Words only have the meaning that you give them. And if you're constantly getting butt hurt over how other people speak or the things that they do or a certain celebrity doing something on TV, get a fucking life. Live your own life and make your life a great example and a masterpiece because you, no matter how much you try to please other people and kiss other people's ass, bottom line is somebody is going to get offended. And bending yourself into a pretzel is going to do nothing more than make yourself fucking absolutely miserable. How do I know? Because when I was younger, I used to do stupid shit like that. So I have a quote that I wrote on this topic and then I'm going to go through this guy's email. He's a fucking tool. So the quote says, you must be who you are. What you should be is not important. Words only have the meanings that we give them. Most people tend to speak and use profanity freely when they are around people who are closest to them and who know them the best. Political correctness is a bunch of bullshit created by a small minority of weak-minded and inept people who think that by forcing their shallow and narrow-minded view of the world on to the rest of society that somehow they're going to make the world a better place. Have you seen all the bullshit that people are talking about? It's you can't have winners and losers anymore. There can't be no number one or first place. We've got to give everybody a trophy for participating. That's a bunch of bullshit. That is not serving our children. When, when kids get out into the real world, there is competition. And if you're not focused on being your absolute best, somebody else is going to come along who is and fucking smoke you. They're going to be the ones that are going to get the job. They're the ones that are going to build a successful business and put you out of business. They're the ones that are going to get the promotion. Unfortunately, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there. And the bottom line is the person is the most efficient, the most successful, the best, the most intelligent, who's applying themselves in the most directed and focused way, in the most efficient way, is the one who should be doing the job anyways. Like Sun Tzu said thousands of years ago, a leader leads by example, not by forth. I love that quote. It's so true. Truth is self-evident. It simply is and needs no validation or explanation. Its superiority is ever-present. Like Gandhi said, you must be the change you want to see in the world. In other words, lead by fucking example. If someone believes that their way of living is so superior to everyone else's, then they should live it and lead by example. If their way really is superior, then eventually enough people will show up and choose to live the same way. If people don't support and accept you for who you are, the way you are, and instead try to change you or get you to conform to their worldview, you should give them one of two choices. Number one, either love and accept you the way you are, or number two, get fucking lost. True friends and people who truly love you will love and celebrate you as you are without trying to change you. 
That is fucking truth. And that is some truth that this fucking poor bastard who wrote me this email is having a real fucking hard time swallowing. He is so desperate to find people or to get people to live his way because deep down he doesn't believe in himself. He doesn't believe in the bullshit that he's even saying in this email. But by getting other people to change and conform to his worldview, then he starts to to feel that, you know what? I guess my way really is a better way and he doesn't feel so bad about himself because the bottom line is deep down he knows that what he's saying is a bunch of fucking bullshit anyways. He says, hi coach, my name is Bob and I've been following you for a couple of months and have watched a good number of your video coaching newsletters. Let me first off say that you definitely know what you're talking about when it comes to understanding women and helping guys to be able to attract and keep quality women. Following your advice has led me to several aha moments and has helped my dating life considerably in just the last month and I am very grateful. I know that you might possibly get pissed off if one of your subscribers were to offer you advice in return but to quote Proverbs 9-7-8, do not reprove a scoffer, lest he hate you. Reprove a wise man and he will love you. I'm hoping that you are the wise man. So another condescending insult. Hey, as long as you agree with me, you're fucking awesome, coach. But if you don't, you're a piece of shit and the Bible says so. You can fucking take a flying fucking roll and a donut, dude. Kiss my ass. I don't fucking care what you think. Occasionally, I get people like you, Sean, going, Oh, I was really liking your videos, but you say the F word too much. Fuck you. I don't care. Change the channel. Unsubscribe. I get hundreds of new subscribers to my email list, to Twitter, to my Facebook fan page, to my YouTube channel every day. I'm not going to miss you, dude. I'm sorry, but that's the fucking reality. There's always somebody who's going to show up and say, Corey, I appreciate your honesty. I appreciate your authenticity. Thank you so much for what you do. Thank for you. Thank you for the gift that you're bringing into my life and how you've changed my life. I love working with people who are grateful, who are appreciative, who are kind, who want my help, who just are like, Corey, tell me what to fucking do and I'll fucking do it, man. Those are the kind of people that I like you working with. If you're not that kind of person, you might as well unsubscribe now because you're not going to like what I have to say anyways. I'm building a community of like-minded people, people who are strong, who believe in themselves, who want a better quality of life, and who have the balls to apply the things I teach because if they apply the things I teach, I teach truth and it fucking works. That's why I give all my best stuff away for free. And even my book. Find me one other person on the internet who's giving away their best-selling book for free and letting people read it for free and teaching all their best stuff. Most people are making you pay through the nose thousands of dollars to learn their best stuff or go to their fucking seminars or their boot camps or this or that and I'm teaching truth. I'm teaching shit that works and it's self-evident. You can see it in all the positive reviews, that all the five-star reviews that my book gets on Amazon. It's like you can look at it. It's like – it's just one five-star review after another because of, from grateful people who have come, who have watched my YouTube channel, who read my articles and they apply it and they get the same results. Even if you think I'm a jerk off, even if you don't like the way I talk, just apply the things I teach and you'll see that they work for you. But I'm not fucking changing who I am and I don't really care what you think about me. And for those of you watching this, you shouldn't give a flying fuck what me or anybody else thinks about you either because the moment – that you start being concerned about the approval of other people and worrying about what other people think about you is the moment that you lose. That's the moment that you give your fucking power away and you allow other people to start controlling and manipulating you. And that is a quick road to an unhappy, shitty, fucked up life. When I started watching your videos, I would watch per, two per day. I find them to contain a lot of good t- content. After a while though, your consistent use of profanity began to wear on me to the point where I rarely watch anymore. Oh, boo, oh, poor boo, oh, no, one subscriber out of tens of thousands, of, oh no. Who fucking cares, dude? Get over yourself. The bottom line is somebody impose their narrow-minded bullshit, politically correct belief system onto you and you were just too fucking stupid and gullible to believe them and follow it. And the bottom line is it ain't working for you. And you're here showing up, looking for attention, looking for some validation. Well, the bottom line is you ain't gonna get any from me. I teach what works. If you don't like how I live my life, I don't fucking care. Get a life, dude. If you're so awesome, if your way of living is so awesome, then you go be politically correct, you start your own YouTube channel, you write your own 
best-selling book and you start selling it and you start changing the way the world in the way that you think it should be. And we'll see who ends up with more subscribers and more success stories, me or you. And I promise you, it will fucking be me. I fucking guarantee it, dude. I know what the fuck I'm talking about. What I teach works. My circle of friends is not one that uses profanity often. Like attracts like. Good for you. If you guys don't want to use profanity, that's fucking awesome. That's your choice. But you know what? I don't fucking care. And I know plenty of guys who I would like to be able to recommend to your channel because I think it would benefit them and their ability to effectively interact with women. But I know that they would feel the same way that I do. They would stop watching and ultimately negatively judge me for recommending your channel. Who fucking cares? Boo hoo. I believe as a life coach and a professional, you would benefit tremendously from greatly reducing or even eliminating your use of profanity in the context you produce. Yet, you know what? God damn it, my fucking business continues to grow at 20% a month. Go figure. Hmm. If it's growing like that, it must be fucking working. So I'm sorry, but the evidence just doesn't back up that bullshit. Where is your successful business? Where is your successful track record of building multi million dollar companies? You hear that? That's the sound of crickets. Because there is none. In my opinion, since you present yourself as a professional life coach, no, I just present myself as a life coach. And I talk the way I talk. This is the way. If I ran into you on the street, this is exactly how I would talk. I tell it like it is. People appreciate the way I am. Why well, go into a grocery store line like the other day? Hey, how are you doing? Oh, I'm fucking tired, man. But other than that, I'm doing fucking great. How are you? That's exactly how I talk. And you know what they do? They always laugh their fucking asses off because they, what happens is it's like the first time all day they've encountered somebody who's real and authentic. The other, the other night I was down in South Beach with my girl, my dad, and his fiance. We're hanging out and we're having a fucking kick-ass time and I walked fucking miles and my feet were killing me. And like on the way back, we're staying on my dad's yacht and on the way back, I ran into another guy who's got like a $40 million fucking yacht and I was like, hey, how you doing? He's like, oh, I'm doing great. How about you? And I was like, man, my fucking feet are killing me. He laughed his fucking ass off. just cracks me up people will love you more if you are bold and brave enough to be real and be authentic because the bottom line is everything you build and everyone you love eventually all of it's going to dissolve so the only thing you can really do is find a way to enjoy your life and have some peace instead of trying to live it according to other people's expectations oh i don't want to offend anybody oh my god what are they going to think of me who fucking cares the bottom line is no matter how much you bend yourself into a pretzel to try not to offend anybody, you're going to offend other people. It's just going to happen. Somebody's going to get pissed off. They're not going to like the way you dress. They're not going to like the way you talk. They're not going to like your fucking haircut. They're not going to like your freckles. They're not going to like the color of your skin. They're not going to like the tone of your voice. Who fucking cares? The bottom line is we're all divine beings having a human experience. Scientific fact is we live in a scientific universe. Everything that you see is a physical world around you. Scientific fact is blinking, blinking into and out of existence 60 million times a second. There is one divine force that holds this entire universe together and keeps it from completely flying apart. So the same force is beating my heart, growing my hair, growing my fingernails, is beating your heart, growing your hair, and growing your fingernails. So people that hate on other people or classify it as racism or oh, I don't like this person because of the color of skin, it's a bunch of bullshit. What it really is, it's just self-hatred and self-loathing project. Like all this bullshit you see on TV about all these things about Michael Brown and all these other people. It's like, it's sad. It's tragic. The bottom line is somebody died and a bunch of people had their businesses fucking destroyed and their lifestyles destroyed. Nobody wins in any of those situations. But all these fucking douchebags on CNN, all these other news networks are just constantly fanning the flames. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at the, oh, and all these people, these race fucking baiters showing up. Oh, oh, look at the, oh. It's like, it's like they're just throwing gasoline in the fire and getting people pissed off. They're not doing anything to help solve the situation. The bottom line is we're all part of the same divine being and people that hate on other people because of the color of skin or the race or whatever, they're just projecting their self-hatred and self-loathing on somebody else and just showing how small and fucking pathetic they are. It's ridiculous. It's nonsense. People need to get fucking over themselves and stop taking themselves so goddamn fucking seriously. So he said, so he, in my opinion, well, you know what they say about opinions. Opinions are like assholes. Everyone's got one and they all stink. And you know what? Yours fucking totally stinks, dude. 
In my opinion, since you present yourself as a professional life coach, the frequent use of profanity, while it does make things casual, undermines some of your professional image. Actually, no, it makes me authentic and real. And people who use profanity freely like I do tend to be trustworthy and honest and tell it like it is. That's a reality. There's scientific facts and studies that have been done on that. People who act like you and act politically correct and always go, ooh, I didn't use this word. Oh my god. People like you tend to be full of shit, liars. You're the, you're the type of salespeople that screw other people over and take advantage of other people and blow sunshine up people's ass and run for political office and make the world a fucked up place. That's reality, dude. You don't like it? Tough shit. He says, now, I'm not some preachy saint and that's not my angle here. In other words, Corey, I am some preachy saint and I think I'm better than you because, well, that's what they told me in church. And I've had my moments. My main motivation for writing you is admittedly selfish. I would find your content a lot more enjoyable and therefore useful. I also think your viewership and visibility would be greatly increased in general. Despite my saying this, I will continue to follow along and I'm happy to have found your channel. I hope to hear from you and greatly appreciate your thoughts on this. Well, those are my thoughts. And at the end of the day, I really don't give a fuck what you think. And other people who think like you, I don't really give a fuck what you think either. Either love me for who I am and accept me for who I am and apply the things I teach or go somewhere else, unsubscribe and go where you can find other people who think in a narrow-minded way like you think. And at the end of the day, you don't believe in yourself and you don't believe in what you believe. And that's why you're showing up and you're testing me and trying to see if you can get me to change who I am. It's not going to happen, dude. You must be who you are. What you should be is not important. This is who I am. I'm proud of it. I love who I am. My girl loves me for who I am. My family loves me for who I am. My friends love me for who I am. And the overwhelming 99.9999% of my audience loves me and appreciates me for who I am. And one little subscriber out of tens of thousands, no, I'm sorry, dude, but I really don't give a fuck. If you don't like it, who cares? Get a life. So if you'd like to get my help personally, the quickest way is to book a paid phone, Skype, or email coaching session. You can choose any of those options by going to my website, clicking the products tab at the top of your screen, and follow the instructions for booking whichever option works best for you. And I shall talk to you soon.